This morning, disgraced podcaster Tax Stone was found guilty of manslaughter in the first degree for the killing of Banger, Troy Ave best friend and bodyguard. Now, Taxon was also found guilty on a slew of charges. I believe for the manslaughter charge, he's facing up to 25 years. For the slew of other charges, he's facing less time. But essentially, his life is over. His career is over. His life is over. For essentially being a hater. I know we all love Tax Stone, bro, but there really ain't no way to slice this. And this is coming from a Tax Stone fan, somebody who listened to Tax Stone. There ain't no way to slice it. Tax Stone was a Stone Cold hater. And let's be 100% clear here, bro. Tax Stone was harassing that boy. Like, he was harassing Troy Ave, bro. Bro, Tax Stone's obsession with Troy Ave was borderline harassment. I understand having general critiques of somebody, but having over 500 tweets of one person in the span of five years is crazy. And for all the Tax Stone defender who's about to comment in this video and defend Tax Stone, hear from Tax Stone's own mouth. Look, he agrees he was harassing Troy Ave. He even told Troy Ave, bruh, a street ninja would have been killed somebody harassing them for five years, bruh. Why you ain't killed me yet? So he was instigating a beef. So when I seen how much he harassed Troy Ave, I was trying to understand, bro, bro, why do you hate the guy? <laughs> like, why do you dislike Troy Ave? Here is words from Tax Stone himself as to why he don't like Troy Ave. What's up with you and the boy Troy Ave? Because you go hard for him. Why don't you like Troy Ave or at least appreciate what he's done? Because I do honestly feel like he's at least shined a light on New York that allow other people to flourish. I don't feel that way at all. So, like, I respect his ground, but he's a liar. He's a pathological liar, and I can't fathom that. When you get on radio and you say shit like, you know, I bought New York City back with what record? You, didn't, you haven't had a record yet. It was like... If you ask any rapper that's, that's out there that's established from New York City, they will tell you the same thing. None of them ever felt like Troy Ave bought the city back. So that's why it was so confusing to me. I was like, bought the city back? What do you mean? What did you do? What record? And then he dropped all about the money and it was like, that wasn't your record. When we liked that, it was like, okay, cool. And then it was like, oh shit, Manolo Rose wrote the whole record. It was like, all right, what's next? Yeah. You know what I mean? So when, when he was on Hot 97 and they asked him, hey, did you do the thing to McConan? Did you send your, your BSB family to hit McConan and he says oh no I didn't do that or whatever you know in my city my city loved me the same way Drake get love in Canada I'm sitting in such confusion because I'm like I need to find at least three people that he's talking about this is ashy Negro activities bro you are harassing somebody because they are too confident because they got self-confidence in themselves because they love themselves because they mama told them you are great son you're gonna be great so they believed it Lord I don't ask for too much, bro. Just keep an ashy ninja like Tax Stone out my life, bro. Please don't put me on the radar of no ashy hating ninja like Tax Stone, bro. You, have, you know you a hater when you have had ample time to think about an excuse as to why you hate somebody, and the best that you could think of is that person was just too full of himself. He just had too much confidence. He had the audacity to believe in himself, so I had to knock him down a little bit. And let's be real, bro, Tax Stone was a bully. He pulled up on OG Mako. Think about that, bro. Tax Stone pulled up with a hundred ashy New York ninjas to go ahead and press OG Mako. When has OG Mako ever presented himself as a gangster or a goon? He's never had. So when I seen that, I just thought, all right, bro, I don't know what this is, yo. Like, he was clearly on the crash out path. Tax Stone thought that he was the realest, biggest, baddest in every room. And he thought he was going to do Troy Av like how he did OG Mako, but Troy Av ain't back down. Troy Ave showed that he really wasn't capping or rap capping in his raps. And this is where this leads, bro. Right? Tax Stone crashed out because Troy Ave was successful. He crashed out for legit just being a hater. And it's unfortunate, bro, because Tax Stone, bro, he was talented with that mic, yo. Like, he was real talented with that mic. And he could have had a great career, but, you know, he's most likely probably going to die in prison or die in jail. And it's unfortunate, bro. But let this be just a telltale sign, man, to every one of y'all, man. Don't be a hater, bro. Applaud everybody, man. Like, don't never ask God why is this person doing this and God, you got me doing this. So I'm going to harass somebody for five years on Twitter. The Tax Stone story is a tragic story of a hater. 